Today, I woke up to a letter from YouTube and it goes Red Patriot, today we are announcing changes to the YouTube partner program while our goal remains the same to keep YPP open to as many channels as possible we recognize we need some safeguards in place to protect creator revenue across the YouTube ecosystem. Now that's a lie. You open the message sent to me and thousands, if not millions of our creators with a lie. You state that your goal remains to keep YPP to open as many channels possible. That's a lie. YPP, the YouTube partner program, is to be open to everyone as far as I'm aware. No matter if you had one subscriber, one million, ten million. Then they changed it to regulate the um, guidelines, which I'm fine with, you know, 100 subscribers, 10,000 views. Not everybody can get that number, real fast at least. It takes effort to get to 10,000 views. But if you do it, you deserve to be part of the program, which I'm fine with, you know, it gets rid of the spam channels slash um, the channels that upload inappropriate content. But then again, you have really, really took it too far this time, and you are trying to eliminate smaller YouTubers aspiring to be big and successful on your platform YouTube. Why don't you care about smaller YouTubers like myself and other great YouTubers who do great videos? My last video which I have uploaded is my best video on my channel. I haven't uploaded it yet at the time of the recording, but at the time of you watching this, it has been up on my channel for 24 hours. I don't know how well I don't know how well the video is doing. I hope it's doing really well because I put a lot of time and effort into that video. It took me Five hours to record and edit that video. I tried a new genre, I tried something new, and I hope you guys loved that video. If not, go back, watch the video, please. It means a lot to me. But going back to it, YouTube, there's a lot of creators like myself, like other creators, who put in a, much, a lot of effort and grind into this platform, and they get no reward back. Even if you have ad revenue uh, connected for the YouTube partner, part, partner program, I can't speak, you don't get that much, especially if you're a small YouTuber. You don't get good ads, you don't get many ads. I myself have over 80,000 views, and I have only earned 20 pounds from YouTube. I'm not supposed to be sharing this because I'm not allowed, but I've earned 21 pounds and 11 pence on my time as a YouTuber, which I spent over a year with this program, and now you want me out. I spent one year making money for you, and now you want to get rid of me, throw me in the trash. That's disappointing. I always loved YouTube as a platform. I wanted to do something big on it, you know, have an audience, which I do, and I'm really happy with my 266 subscribers as of right now. Thank you for the support. You guys are amazing. And I just don't know what to say. I, I don't know why YouTube doesn't care about us, you know. A lot of you actually watch my content, you know, over 50 views on average on each single video and certain videos having as much as a couple of thousands of likes and even, you know, tens of thousands of likes. So, I don't know why YouTube doesn't care about me or other creators like I have said before, but I can't do much about that, you know? I just wish YouTube would listen to everyone, not the Jake Pauls and Logan Pauls, which is a big mistake. <sighs> so, what's changing? Under the new eligibility requirements today, your YouTube channel, Red Patriot, is no longer eligible for monetization. Oh well, tough shit. Because it doesn't meet the threshold of 4,000 hours watched. Now, I've been doing YouTube on this channel for nearly a year and five months, okay? And I only have over 1,000 hours watch time. Which is a lot. Like, <laughs> look at it. That's 45 days and two hours, and that's not good enough for YouTube for me to make money off of it. Which I'm not even making proper money, I'm just making pennies, and I can't even crash out my money because I haven't hit the 60 pounds threshold, so I might never hit it because of YouTube. My views are on 80,000 and I have, what, 256 subs, like I said before, so yeah, it hurts to talk about this, but you know, I'm really focusing on myself because this is my channel and I'm really um, self-centered. But there's a lot of different YouTubers, such as animation YouTubers, who make animation clips, and they have really short videos. How are they supposed to hit 4,000 hours watch time with 30 seconds slash 2 minute videos, which they put a lot of time and effort in, spending weeks if not months on them? Now that's, that's a good point to argue with YouTube, you can't deny that one, so listen to us, listen to the platform. Ah, oh, sorry about that, Windows 10 has an update, I don't care. 
Man, Windows 10 is so bad. Only reason why I have it is because my PC motherboard was like, you know what, we're not gonna work unless you get Windows 10. But that's a different story for a different day. Going back to the message, they want me to hit 1,000 subscribers within the past 12 months, all of that. Well, we've been getting a lot of subs recently. We've been doing pretty well, nearly a sub a day, so thank you for the support, hope that carries on. But we have 30 days to notice and apply to the guidelines they set. I don't know what they want to me to do. I'm not going to hit 1,000 subs anytime soon with the way it's going right now. I hope to hit 1,000 you know, in the future, foreseeable future. I'll do a lot of videos and put a lot of effort. So hopefully we can do that, guys. I'll be really happy if we do. But like, the best thing is this partnership program, new partnership program, is starting in 30 days. It's starting on my fifth birthday. Thank you for the birthday present, Google. Thank you, YouTube. You did a great job. Like, you could have picked a better date. And I don't know what to say. I honestly don't like. I honestly disagree with this um, whole um, new update. And I don't know. Focus on the big YouTubers like Logan Pauls, Jake Pauls, and not on the smaller YouTubers. I'm on the very bottom of the food scale. Like 256 subs. This is not even my job. I do this for fun. I do this because I enjoy getting the feedback of you guys and it really gives me a nice buzz when I actually see somebody watching my videos and I get a lot of people who are knocking me down saying what am I doing having a laugh at it and do you think I care? I have so many people supporting me leaving a like on my videos subscribing to the channel meeting people in public which are mainly my friends who know my channel who like what I do who support what I do I want to thank you guys because I don't do it enough. A lot of people trying to drag me down because they're even jealous of um, the views I'm getting, all the subs I'm getting, which are not even anything to be jealous of. So, thank you for everyone who's supporting me so much as well. So apparently there's some benefits to it, like they said, to grow channels. Oh yeah, if you haven't got that threshold. So basically, we don't. if we don't care about you enough to let you earn money on our platform, which is supposed to be, you know, Freedom of speech, uh, equality, all of that good stuff. You can use the Creator Academy Help Center or Creator Site. That's no help at all. That doesn't help any YouTuber and not one successful YouTuber has used any of these tips or guidelines to improve their YouTube channel. So I don't know what you're going at YouTube. You shouldn't have changed anything. You shouldn't have like... I, so many wrongs. Like People who run YouTube know nothing about the platform. Yeah, I'm just gobsmacked and I'm lost for words. I'm sorry about this. Like, but like they don't, they know nothing about this platform. I don't really have much more to say, guys. I just want to thank you for the support and. For being here for me, you know, watching my videos, leaving a like down below, commenting on my videos as well, it means a lot to me, it really does, and it brings me joy to know that actually some people care about what I do and what I upload, and I really hope you enjoyed this video and the last video, so thank you for watching, I hope that you have enjoyed it, if you did, leave a like down below, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment on what you want to see next, if you go over to his YouTube page right here, if you look at it, Leafy's here, 4 million subs, that's a pretty hefty amount. That's a decent number to have, I wish. I wish I was close to that number. And his uploads, they're all clickbait, as you know. Matthew Santoro crying, this video will make you cry. One month ago, he hasn't pulled for a video. Oh, look, some, some boobies. Ooh. You like that, don't you, Leafy? You like baiting your little kids into little booby girls. What the fuck is wrong with him, honestly? Like, his audience is like, what, 12 year olds? And. Yeah, cool. Nice. Nice thumbnails he has there. Definitely. Guys, do you remember when he used to like upload a couple of videos a week, every week? I used to watch it. What? There's something I never told you. But how do I tell you? How do I tell you something is wrong? Time out. Why is there somebody walking over to a random s- Okay, somebody's walking over to a random whatever leaf. I'm gonna cut you there. <laughs> you probably cut yourself, you little emo. <laughs> anyway, what? The video quality doesn't even go to 1080p. 
Leafy, man, he downgraded seriously. Like, I remember all my YouTubers uploaded in 4K, man. Even I do 1080p. Me. And you don't even do full HD. But anyway, go back to the video.